Come join us. Oh, yeah. Do you? No, no. There's no love, no kid. It's all good. Kelly actually has been with Mother Love the longest. Do, Five years? Okay, do you so want in on the... You're in. Yeah. Cheers to Kelly. Right, here, here. Put this thing on. Let's see how we do it. You're in. Get, uh, you just... Like just like boom. Like What's she going to say? Yeah. Well, I don't know. She's been here a long time. I don't know. What am I going to say? She's got all the dirt. Yeah, yeah. She's like, you're a loser. Okay. <laughs> no, it's good. Do you want me to do the... What do you call it? I'm lucky to have a team that has been here a long time. How long's long? Four years? Oh. No, Louise no. and Brian just hit four. Five. Five. Five or more. It doesn't feel that long. I know. That's crazy. Time flies when you're having fun. It really does. You've done... Okay, what is this one? Lavender lemonade. What's kind of just supposed to taste like? Well, it can taste good. Because that's not what it's supposed to taste like. This is what kombucha is supposed to taste like, the no, way I grew it. No, I don't think that's the case. So, when you make kombucha, it starts with tea and sugar, right? It's, it's this, like, tea and sugar, and then there's the scoby that ferments it. So, if you have a graph with... This is the sugar, because yeah. it's sweet tea, and this is thyme. Kombucha can ferment anywhere from seven to 30 days. Yeah. Seven, it takes at least seven days to develop all the acetic acids, probiotics, B vitamins. Yeah. Um, but then after that, sugar is gonna go down to zero at 30 days, but the probiotics also peak and then they diminish, because they eat each other. Yeah. So at 30 days, if you take a brand like Remedy from Australia, it's a 30 day ferment, there's nothing live in it. It's basically right. vinegar, and they back sweeten it with stevia to make it taste better. So things will ferment to alcohol or vinegar. This will ferment to vinegar, but I don't, you can drink kombucha's vinegar, but the benefits of that, of that are acetic acid and you just want like a little shot of vinegar. Okay. When I made Mother Love, I wanted a drink that was like a nice alternative to pop or alcohol, something you could drink a couple cups of. And when we stop it before, el before the vinegar, it also has more probiotics, it's a nicer so taste. So when do you stop this then, between the seven and 28 days sort of world? More towards like seven to 12. So okay. we wait until it's got all the good stuff developed. It's at a safe pH, yeah. and it still tastes nice. So slightly sweet, slightly acidic, and then we don't add any sugar. So we don't back sweeten it. Well, we so don't add fruit sweetened. juice. Nope. So it's any residual okay, this sugar. This is what I wasn't anticipating. Right? Okay. There's so many ways to no, do I'm kombucha. Just something that was like sour. I'm gonna smile maybe. <laughs> I know. Yeah. We get a lot that Mother Love is the only brand people want to drink. Yeah. When we had it tested, it was the highest probiotic content they'd, they'd ever seen. So. Tasting worse doesn't mean it's better for you. Um, tasting more vinegary has more acetic acid, but a, 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 a brew like this is going to have more well, probiotics. this is better for your gut, then. I think so. The the I mean, so, so well, and I'm it tastes better. It, yeah, a lot of the reasons. Probiotics, you need B vitamins, yeah. enzymes. You also get some electrolytes as well, specifically more with the water kefir. But yeah, it's got all the good stuff. Yeah. A lot of people have a lot of preconceived notions just from kombucha their aunt made years ago that they've tried, and it's definitely yeah. different, right? That's our biggest challenge is someone's like, I tried this person's homebrew and I hate kombucha. Yeah, exactly.